My name's Rhonda Mort, and I'm the Children's Librarian here at Willard Library, and I'm happy to share some stories with you today. Uh, we will be having a summer reading this year. We will do most of it online, but we, starting like in June, we're going to have a space for some families to come in, and once again, we'll be maintaining that six foot, and we will all be wearing our masks. So without further ado, let's get to our stories. Hello, I'm Miss Lucy with Willard Library and I'm here to read you some of my favorite children's books today. This is The Color Monster by Anna Linnis. This is my friend The Color Monster. Today he's feeling all mixed up and he doesn't understand why. Look at you monster, you're a mess. You've jumbled up all your emotions and all of your colors too. I know. You can separate your feelings and put each one in its own jar. And if you'd like, I can help you. This is happiness. It shines yellow like the sun and it twinkles like the stars. When you're happy, you laugh and jump and dance and play. You want to share that feeling with everyone. This is sadness. It's gentle and blue, like a rainy day. And when you're sad, you might want to cry or be alone. Rawr, and this is anger. It blazes right bright red. And when you're angry, you want to stomp and roar and shout, it's not fair. This is fear. It hides in the black shadows. And when you're afraid, you feel tiny and helpless. Fear makes it hard to be brave. And this is calm. It's as light as a green leaf floating in the wind. And when you're calm, you breathe slowly and deeply. You feel at peace. All your feelings are in their places now. See, they're easier to understand when they're not all mixed together. There's sadness and anger and fear and calm and happiness. But wait, there's one feeling left over. What could it be? The end. All right, this was our most recent Caldecott winner. The Caldecott Award is awarded to a book because of its illustrations. The idea is that the book could speak to you just through the illustrations without words. This particular book also has words. This is The Undefeated by Kwame Alexander and illustrated by Kedar Nelson. This was our most recent Caldecott winner. This is for The Unforgettable the sw swift and sweet ones who hurtled history and opened a world of possible. The ones who survived America by any means necessary. And the ones who didn't. This is for the undeniable the ones who scored with chains on one hand and faith in the other. This is for the unflappable, the sophisticated ones who box adversity and tackle vision. Who shine their light for the world to see and don't stop till the break of dawn. This is for the unafraid, the audacious ones, who carried the red, white, and weary blues on the battlefield to save an imperfect union. The righteous marching ones who sang, we shall not be moved because black lives matter. This is for the unspeakable. 
This is for the unspeakable. This is for the unspeakable. This is for the unlimited, unstoppable ones, the dreamers and doers who swim across the big sea of our imagination and show us the majestic shores of the promised land. The Wilma Rudolphs, the Muhammad Ali's, the Althea Gibbons, Gibsons, the Jesse Owens, the Jordans and the LeBrons, the Serenas and the Cheryls, the Reese Whitleys, and the Undiscovered. This is for the unbelievable, the we real cool ones. This is for the unbending, the black as night as beautiful ones. This is for the underdogs and the uncertain, the unspoken, but no longer untitled. This is for the undefeated. This is for you and you and you. This is for us. The end. The first thing I have to share with you today uh, is another story about some frogs. It's been raining so much outside that I thought this was appropriate. I'm getting a little tired of the rain myself. We were going to have a party. The frogs and toads all sang. We got lemonade with ice cubes and paper uh, lamps to hang. The ladies wore long dresses and the gentlemen wore pants. The orchestra was ready. So they all began to dance. They danced in the meadow and they danced in the street. And they danced in the lemonade just to cool their feet. Beneath the lily pads where the mud is cool, many little pollywogs swim in their way to school. We go to class each day, said one, and all we do is wiggle. We do not read, we do not write, we only squirm and giggle. A bright green frog with slippery skin played waltzes on his violin. But while he played with skill and grace, he wore a frown upon his face. I fiddle well, he sighed, and yet, I'd rather play a clarinet. This is called How Many Jelly Beans by Andrea Minotti. How many jelly beans? How many jelly beans would you like, Emma? Ten. Let's count them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. How about you, Aiden? I want 20. 2 times 10 is 20. He can have 20 and I'll have 25. Then I'll take 50. 75, 100. Change my mind. I'll have 500 jelly beans. That's too many. You can't eat 500 jelly beans. Oh, yeah? In a whole year, I could eat a thousand jelly beans. One thousand. Wow, a whole year. Wait a second. That's only two or three jelly beans a day. I could eat five thousand jelly beans in a year. If I stacked up five thousand jelly beans, they'd be as tall as this building. Now that's a lot of jelly beans. Oh yeah, I could eat 10,000 jelly beans in a year. That's too many jelly beans. Is it possible to have too many jelly beans? You have to admit, 100,000 jelly beans would be too many jelly beans. I could share them with Murphy. Yes, said Murphy. If I had 100,000 jelly beans, I'd choose 5,000 blueberry, 10,000 watermelon, 25,000 orange, 2,000 cherry, 3,000 lime, 
50,000 grape, 4,999 strawberry, and one lemon. What about one million jelly beans? A million jelly beans? Wow, a million jelly beans. This is only half a million. Look up there. Whoa, one million jelly beans. Okay, a million jelly beans is probably too many. Oh, speak for yourself. This is Rhonda at Willard Library, Miss Rhonda. And I wanted to let you guys know about an annotated summer reading program that we're putting together. Uh, you can sign up May 20th on our website, www.willard.lib.in.us. And we'll have a link down below in the description so that you can just click on the link and go to where you sign up for summer reading. Uh, summer reading is going to be pretty simple this year and we're going to do a lot of videos for summer reading. Uh, the main thing about summer reading is you're still going to receive free books. You just have to read 10 picture books or 5 chapter books and you get a free book and it will be placed in your in your bag for you. We'll also be giving out summer reading prizes and those can either be picked up the library or we'll send them to you through the U.S. Postal Service. Uh, stay tuned for more. There'll be a form when you log, log on for you to keep track of the 10 picture books and five chapter books that you will be reading. And so that you'll fill that form out and you'll get it to us. Either you can email it to us, you can scan it, email it to us, or you can send it through the U.S. Postal Service and we will get that and we'll make sure that we put your name in for the grand prize drawing. And once again this year, we're going to be giving out three grand prizes for the different age groups. So it's exactly the same kind of program except we're kind of going to do it more remotely. Thank you and I hope to see you soon. Bye.